We're, We're so, so glad, glad that, that you decided, decided to, to check out independent, independent boarding schools. schools. You're opening up new horizons and looking to become part of something bigger than yourself. Kids all over the world are starting out on this journey too. The application process with all its different steps and tasks is an important experience. This video will walk you through the steps and give you an idea of what to expect. The first step is to get excited. We know it might seem a little bit daunting, but we also hope it will be fun. The second step is to get down to business. Look at the websites for a group of schools that you'd like to learn more about. Look for buttons that say, inquire here, or fill out our inquiry form. If you aren't sure where to start, a great first stop is Ready for More by the Association of Boarding Schools or Boarding School Review. You can see the web addresses on the screen. Schools are going to send you lots of information by snail mail and email. Be sure not to toss or delete it. Make piles based on your level of interest and talk about what you're reading as a family. The fun part is visiting schools. Schedule an individual appointment for a tour and interview at each school you would like to learn more about. You should plan on each visit lasting somewhere between two and three hours. The exact length might depend on whether a visit also includes a class visit or meetings with any coaches in addition to the tour and interview. Check out other dates like open houses, shadow days, or special games and performances. You should even check to see when admissions officers may be traveling near you. This is usually under the admissions tab on the website. Look for keywords like events or travel. Follow the schools on social media. Some will have a mashup on their website so that everyone can see what's going on. Discuss what you're seeing and what you like with your family. A parent or sibling might even pick up something you missed. Sign up to take the SSAT test. You can find a test center near you and what test dates are available by checking out the SSAT website. You can, and probably should, do some practice problems. Check out the application itself. Take a look at the essay questions and make sure your parents know they have to write an essay too. Check with your school about the process for requesting recommendations and transcripts. This can take a while. Make a calendar of application deadlines and set goals for completion and submission of the different components. Many admissions offices, including Tabor, use applicant portals where you can upload application documents, track your progress on a checklist, and receive communications from the office. Write down your username and password for each school and make sure you know how each school will notify you of messages or action items. Parents who plan to apply for financial aid should review the financial aid application forms. Most schools use a form that you'll hear referred to as the PFS, or Parent Financial Statement. You can access this form at the website on the screen. Most importantly, be yourself. Each school is made up of students and faculty who have chosen to make it their home. The more authentic you are in the application process, the more likely you are to end up in the school that is just right for you. We hope this has been helpful for you. Remember, there are no silly questions and we are a friendly bunch who are always here to help. We look forward to talking to you soon.